Good evening, Science Olympiads. Thank you so much for all of your effort this weekend. I'd like to welcome you to the 2021 New Mexico State Virtual Science Olympiad Awards. Um, my name is Sharon Sessions. I'm a professor of physics here at New Mexico Tech. I'm also the director of outreach and the director, the new director for the New Mexico State Science Olympiad. I am going to start with a little bit of information about New Mexico Tech. Um, this might be a little bit quiet as I'm recording this through Zoom, so you might want to turn up your volume. When I came here from my tour, I felt very welcome. It has a nice campus, it's small, and there's a lot of one-on-one -on -one with profs. When I started reading about their research that they do here, it definitely caught my interest. I'm originally from Albuquerque, which is only an hour away, and I never knew about the university. And I was about two months away from going somewhere else and then come to find out, well, there's a school that's right next to me. The price range was fantastic. The fact that it was a STEM-based research school was fantastic, and I knew it was going to be good. Those are all draws for me. One thing that I do love about Tech is smaller class sizes. I always feel like that was a big thing for me where I had that community within the classroom. You can approach professors without having to worry that you're bothering them. They give you time. They want to get to know you. My advisor, she knows my interest. She's always bringing up internships or scholarships I could look into and she'll help you find your path here. We have all these clubs that students can come out and have an outlet like bouldering and rock climbing, tea club. You'll find a group so quickly. There's a place for everyone. There was a message that came out from faculty. They wanted to gauge students to see if esports was actually something that they wanted to create. I was one of the first people to the meeting. This project came into my lab, and the rest of the faculty and staff around the university were really embracing this and allowing me to explore it. I just feel like I have all the full support from tech. It's perfect. It's a great school. As you get deeper along into your coursework, you get exposed to more and more projects. And it just shows you what you're working towards. I knew from a young age that I wanted to help people, and that's my big goal. Coming from an underserved community, I saw firsthand how hard it is to get good treatment sometimes, and I would like to help out. We have the ability to make a tangible difference in the world. It's inspiring, and my ideas actually do make an impact. Let's put that out there and see what happens. Awesome. I hope that was inspiring to you. The next thing I'd like to do is just really express my gratitude for some for the people that really helped put this together. First, I'd like to really thank Anne Dunkley. She's the New Mexico Science Olympiad coordinator. Many of you interacted with her. She was she was really my right hand. Um, we worked great together and she made a lot of this happen. So Thank you to her. I'd like to thank the regional supervisors, the regional directors. They, um, of course, piloted a lot of these tournaments before coming to state, and it was a learning curve for all of us. So I really appreciate um, you guys. I appreciate the coaches for being dedicated to your teams and all the work and effort that you went into them. The event supervisors, thank you so much for helping make this um, the best virtual competition that we've ever had. I, I also, um, as, as I just mentioned, this was a virtual competition and it happened through what was called the Olympiad um, website. And it was actually an extraordinary platform. I really, really, it, it, made the pro, it made it possible and it made the event go very smoothly. So I'd really like to thank the, the support of the developers for that. Um, I'd also like to extend my appreciation to the Sioli Discord community. I, I was 
short, some help for event supervisors. I reached out to them and it was such a warm and um, really amazing, helpful community. So I just wanted to thank you guys. I also would like to thank the Socorro High Invitational Coordinators. They hosted uh, an invitational in January for the B Division and through that process was able to learn how to host a, a virtual science Olympiad competition and we leaned pretty heavily on their experience for make, for helping ours come together. So thank you. Thank you for other volunteers. Um, parents, thank you so much for supporting your students. And most of all, most of all, I would really like to thank all of the students for participating in this. I know it was, it's been a challenging year and having another thing happen uh, virtually is is challenging and many of you came through and really put a lot of effort into it despite the challenges um, and I I know some of you had some te technical difficulties that um, maybe made it harder to compete than than you'd like so my my apologies for that um, but you really showed some resilience and dedication some of your teams only had a small number of a handful of team members. So congratulations to every single one of you and thank you for participating. So now it's time to get started. And I bet you, you can guess what our first event is. So whereas once upon a time, our idea of what a heart looks like is what we have on the left. If you have studied anatomy, it no longer has that cute little symmetric picture. So let's go ahead and look at the winners for anatomy and physiology B. In, and as you know, we, we award the top 10 places. So in number 10, we have the Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Number in ninth place, Heights Middle School. In eighth place, we have Cottonwood Classical Prep School. In seventh place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. Sixth place, Saraceno Middle School. In fifth place, we have Cloudcroft Middle School. Fourth place, Taylor Middle School. In third place, we have Wilson Middle School. In second place, Albuquerque Academy. And our first place winner for Anatomy and Physiology B is Houston Middle School. Congratulations. Anatomy and Physiology C. In 10th place, we have Oñate High School. In ninth place, La Cueva High School. In eighth place, Silver High School. In seventh place, Lovington High School. In sixth place, Centennial High School, Team Two. In fifth place, Socorro High School. Fourth place, V. Sue Cleveland High School. In third place, Cottonwood Classical Preparatory School. In second place, Albuquerque Academy. And in first place, Las Cruces High School. Now I reached out to a few departments to get a little bit of information and the biology department thought it might be a good idea to share some information being that we are in a, um, a pandemic situation and the reason for our virtual competition has everything to do with the fact that we have a pandemic. Um, if you're interested or if you have some questions like if you have doubts about getting the COVID-19 vaccine or whether it's necessary for young healthy adults, our New Mexico Tech Biology Department has the answers. So they put on a panelist, a panel to discuss the vaccine campaign. And that is available to watch on this YouTube link here. Um, I'm gonna try to get that linked to the recording from here, but um, part of the reason that I'm telling you this is because, well, that's a perfect intro for disease detectives. So in the B division in 10th place is La Plata Miss Middle School. In ninth place is Taylor Middle School. In eighth place, the Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Seventh place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. In sixth place, Houston Middle School. In fifth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. In fourth place, Hermosa Middle School. In third place, Wilson Middle School. Second place is Cloudcroft Middle School. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. 
Disease Detectives Division B in 10th place, Cloudcroft High School. In 9th place, Hobbs High School. 8th place, Centennial High School Team 2. In 7th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. In 6th place, Las Cruces High School. In 5th place, B. Sioux Cleveland High School. In 4th place, Silver High School. In 3rd place, Socorro High School. In 2nd place, Centennial High School Team 1. And in 1st place, La Cueva High School. See someone attractive? Make mental punnet squares. Mm, yes, of course, that would be heredity. In 10th place, for heredity, we have La, pa La Plata Middle School. In 9th place, Taylor Middle School. In 8th place, Hermosa Middle School. In 7th place, Saraceno Middle School. In 6th place, Cloudcroft Middle School. In 5th place, Albuquerque Academy. In fourth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. In third place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. In second place, Wilson Middle School. In first place, Houston Middle School. Designer Jeans. In 10th place, we have Centennial High School Team 2. In ninth place, Lovington High School. In eighth place, Centennial High School Team 1. In seventh place, Albuquerque Academy. I do recognize I have a few too many QUQUs there. Um, it, it was getting late when I was typing those. In sixth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. In fifth place, Las Cruces High School. In fourth place, B. Sioux Cleveland High School. In third place, Cloudcroft High School. In second place, La Cueva High School. And in first place, Socorro High School. Isn't this so exciting? <laughs> In ornithology, our 10th place winner is Heights Middle School for Division B, Kirtland Middle School for ninth place, eighth place is Houston Middle School, seventh place is Wilson Middle School, sixth place is Cloudcroft Middle School, fifth place is Highland Middle School, fourth place is Hermosa Middle School, Third place is Cottonwood Classical Prep School. Second place, Saraceno Middle School. And in first place for Ornithology B is Albuquerque Academy. Ornithology C Division. In 10th place, we have Cloudcroft High School. Ninth place, Hobbs High School. Eighth place, Las Cruces High School. Seventh place, San Juan College High School. In sixth place, Silver High School. Fifth place, Socorro High School. Fourth place, Centennial High School Team 1. Third place, B. Sioux Cleveland High School. In second place, La Cueva High School. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Now, I also wanted to take this uh, a moment to tell you guys a, about a project where New Mexico Tech is partnered with Navajo Technical Institute for a water project called Restore. And if you notice here, this T-O has an accent that is for to, or the Navajo word for water. So restore water. And this is the Navajo Technical University, New Mexico Tech Navajo Nation water purification pro project. So we're really collaborating to not only help find solutions for providing clean water to the Navajo Nation, but through so doing what we do best as universities is educating students and helping develop workforce. So if you're interested in learning more about that, you can go to either New Mexico Tech or Navajo Tech websites and learn more about it. And that's a perfect introduction for water quality. So 10th place, water quality B is Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Ninth place is Houston Middle School. Eighth place, Heights Middle School. Seventh place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. Sixth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. Fifth place, Saraceno Middle School. Fourth place, Hermosa Middle School. Third place, 
Cloudcroft Middle School, second place, Taylor Middle School, and first place, Water Quality B, Albuquerque Academy. Water Quality C, in 10th place is Centennial High School, Team 2. Ninth place, Silver High School. Eighth place, Socorro High School. Seventh place, Oñate High School. Sixth place, Lovington High School. Fifth place, Las Cruces High School. Fourth place, Albuquerque Academy. Third place, La Cueva High School. Second place, Centennial High School Team 1. First place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. Nice job. Um, something that you may be aware of is New Mexico Tech. On New Mexico Tech campus is the National Radio Astronomy Observatory. And here's a time lapse video that was, I believe, taken last week during the uh, reconfiguration of the very large tele telescope satellites. You can see some of the little, maybe saw, saw some of the cows moving back in the background that look like little ants. And on the right hand side here, this is um, some of the types of things that, that you observe. This is actually observed using the very long baseline array, but this is um, radio emission from a microquasar. So these are jets of relativistic plasma. And why would this be relevant? Well, we might be interested in reaching for the stars. In 10th place for Reach for the Stars, B Division is La Plata Middle School. Ninth place, Saraceno Middle School. Eighth place, Hermosa Middle School. Seventh place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. In sixth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. In fifth place, Cloudcroft Middle School. In fourth place, Houston Middle School. Third place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School in second place, Albuquerque Academy, and in first place, Reach for the Stars, is Wilson Middle School. In Astronomy C Division, 10th place, Centennial High School, Team 2. Ninth place, Lovington High School. Eighth place, Silver High School. Seventh place, VSU Cleveland High School. Sixth place, La Cueva High School. Fifth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. Fourth place, Cloudcroft High School. Third place, Centennial High School, Team 1. Second place, Socorro High School. And in first place, Astronomy, Albuquerque Academy. Now, if you not, are not aware of earth.nullschool.net, <laughs> this is a really cool website that um, actually I'm not going to take you to it today, but I definitely encourage you to go and explore it. Um, it actually shows you in real time, this is an, a screenshot taken from just a few hours ago of what the winds are doing, what the ocean is doing. It basically takes several models um, and integrates data from around the globe to give us real time pictures of the winds, the, the global winds and the global ocean currents. And you can look at the winds at the different levels. You can see that there's a cyclone forming here in the, in the Pacific Ocean. So I definitely encourage you to play with that site. But one of the amazing things about this site is it helps you understand what a dynamic planet we are living on. So dynamic planet, 10th place is Hermosa Middle School. Ninth place is Highland Middle School. Eighth place is Cloudcroft Middle School. Seventh place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Sixth place, Wilson Middle School. Fifth place, Houston Middle School. Fourth place, Kirtland Middle School. Third place, Saraceno Middle School. Second place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Dynamic Planet C, 10th place, Socorro High School. 9th place, Cloudcroft High School. 8th place, Centennial High School, Team 2. 7th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. 6th place, B. Sioux Cleveland High School. 5th place, Las Cruces High School. 4th place, Centennial High School, Team 1. 
third place, Onyate High School, second place, Albuquerque Academy, first place, La Cueva High School. Um, I don't know if you all are, were aware, but New Mexico actually has a state fossil. It's a Silophysis, which is an early Triassic dinosaur. And it became our state fossil in 1981. Uh, if you are interested in fossils, the place to explore them at New Mexico Tech would be the New Mexico Bureau of Geology and Mineral Resources. They have an amazing mineral museum, and that's the place where, where you would find any fossil samples. And that leads us into our awards for Fossils B Division. In 10th place, we have Highland Middle School. In 9th place, we have Taylor Middle School. 8th place, Kirtland Middle School. 7th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. 6th place, Albuquerque Academy. 5th place, La Plata Middle School. 4th place, Lovington 6th Grade Academy. 3rd place, Cloudcroft Middle School 6th grade, second place, Houston Middle School, and in first place, Saraceno Middle School. Fossils C, 10th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep, ninth place, Centennial High School Team 2, eighth place, Cloudcroft High School, seventh place, Socorro High School, sixth place, Silver High School, Fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Las Cruces High School. Third place, Lovington High School. Second place, La Cueva High School. And in first place, Fossil C Division, Centennial High School Team One. So what do you get when you cross a thunderstorm and rocket science? Wait for it, wait for it. Triggered lightning. This is just one of the things that um, types of resources that uh, research that happens at Langmuir Lab at New Mexico Tech. Yes, this is really a platform that sits on Magdalena Ridge on South Baldy. And that really was a little rocket that shot straight up, attached to a wire into a thunderstorm that made a convenient pathway for lightning to come and hit the ground. And that, is most closely related to our meteorology event, B division. In 10th place, Heights Middle School. In 9th place, Saraceno Middle School. In 8th place, Houston Middle School. In 7th place, Lovington 6th grade Academy. 6th place, Cloudcroft Middle School, 6th grade. 5th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. 4th place, Hermosa Middle School. Third place, Albuquerque Academy. Second place, Wilson Middle School. And first place, B Division Meteorology, Highland Middle School. Road Scholar. This is where we get on the road again. In 10th place, Heights Middle School. In ninth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. Eighth place, Cloudcroft Middle School. Seventh place, La Plata Middle School. Sixth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Fifth place, Taylor Middle School. Fourth place, Saraceno Middle School. Third place, Hermosa Middle School. Second place, Albuquerque Academy. And in first place, Road Scholar B, Houston Middle School. Geologic mapping, Division C, 10th place, is Socorro High School. Ninth place, Onyate High School. <laughs> Eighth place, Cloudcroft High School. Seventh place, Lovington High School. Ninth place, or sorry, sixth place, Las Cruces High School. Fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Centennial High School Team Two. Third place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. Second place, La Cueva High School. First place, Centennial High School Team 1. Circuit Lab. In 10th place, Hermosa Middle School. In 9th place, Taylor Middle School. 8th place, La Plata Middle School. 7th place, Cloudcroft Middle School, 6th grade. 
Sixth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Fifth place, Heights Middle School. Fourth place, Wilson Middle School. Third place, Houston Middle School. Second place, Highland High School. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Circuit Lab C, where if you're not careful, this could be a shocking experience. In 10th place, Cloudcroft High School. In ninth place, Lovington High School. Eighth place, Centennial High School Team 2. Seventh place, VSU Cleveland High School. In sixth place, Centennial High School Team 1. Fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Socorro High School. Third place, Las Cruces High School. Second place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. In first place, La Cueva High School. Good job. Density Lab. In 10th place, we have La Plata Middle School. In ninth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. In eighth place, Heights Middle School. In seventh place, Saraceno Middle School. In sixth place, Taylor Middle School. In fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. In third place, Wilson Middle School. In second place, Hermosa Middle School. And in first place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade academy. So chemistry lab. I had a really cool thing. I actually was running out of time to be able to put cool little videos and quips between. As you noticed, I've been, I've been doing between a lot of them. I thought many of you would want to see your awards first. But there's a great one that the chemistry department put together for me. Um, it's a, a little bit long because it, it goes to the tune of the elements song. Um, I will put a link to that in the in the notes and I definitely encourage you to check it out because it's super cool. So chemistry lab C division. 10th place is Silver High School. Ninth place is Centennial High School team one. Eighth place, Lovington High School. Seventh place, Las Cruces High School. Sixth place, San Juan College High School. Fifth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School. Fourth place, Socorro High School. Third place, VSU Cleveland High School. Second place, Albuquerque Academy. First place, La Cueva High School. Good job. Just in case you were wondering, every time I think of machines, that little Pink Floyd riff, riff comes into my head. So machines, division B in 10th place, La Plata Middle School. In ninth place, Taylor Middle School. In eighth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. Seventh place, Houston Middle School. In sixth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy, fifth place, Albuquerque Academy, fourth place, Saraceno Middle School, third place, Cloudcroft Middle School, second place, Hermosa Middle School, and in first place, Conwood Classical Prep. Good job. C Division Machines in 10th place, we have Lovington High School, ninth place, Cloudcroft High School, eighth place, Las Cruces High School, seventh place, Hatch Valley High School, sixth place, Centennial High School Team One, fifth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep, fourth place, Albuquerque Academy, third place, La Cueva High School, second place, Silver High School, and first place, Socorro High School. So another thing, so I, I'm, I'm, I'm a professor, so I, I love learning and I love teaching. And um, so this is one of those, those things that I just wanted to kind of share with you guys. I don't know if you're aware, 
most of you probably know about the Nobel Prizes, but there's also something called Ig Nobel Prizes, which is kind of a spoof on it for unlikely research. And in 2020, the Ig Nobel Prize in Acoustic went to this study on a Chinese alligator in a heliox. So what they did was they took this alligator and they got rid of all the air in a chamber and they lowered the water pre pressure and filled the air with a combination of helium and oxygen. If you've ever inhaled, I don't necessarily recommend you do this, but inhaled um, air from a helium balloon, you might notice that your voice changes. And the reason for that is because the speed of sound is different with a different density of air. Well, they did this for a Chinese alligator. And I'm not sure you'll be able to hear this, but you can hear a couple of grunts, what an alligator sounds like normally, followed by a couple of grunts of what the alligator sounds like on helium. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, that might seem totally, totally random, but those are exactly the types of physics that you might be interested in if you're trying to understand the sounds of music. So in 10th place, Centennial High School, Team 2. In 9th place, Lovington High School. In 8th place, Oñate High School. In 7th place, Centennial High School, Team 1. In 6th place, Silver High School. In 5th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. 4th place, Socorro High School. In 3rd place, La Cueva High School. In 2nd place, Albuquerque Academy, and in first place, Las Cruces High School. And crime busters. I'm going to steal this from the Socorro High Invitational, but if you have a crime, who are you going to call? Crime busters. Um, in 10th place, Wilson Middle School. In 9th place, Kirtland Middle School. In 8th place, La Plata Middle School. Seventh place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. In sixth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. In fifth place, Houston Middle School. In fourth place, Cloudcroft Middle School. Third place, Albuquerque Academy. Second place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. And in first place, Crime Busters is Taylor Middle School. In forensics, 10th place is Visu Cleveland High School. 9th place, Oñate High School. 8th place, Lovington High School. 7th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. In 6th place, we have Centennial High School Team 1. In 5th place, Las Cruces High School. In 4th place, Socorro High School. In 3rd place, Silver High School, in second place, Albuquerque Academy, and in first place, La Cueva High School. Good job. In food science, 10th place, Taylor Middle School, ninth place, Hermosa Middle School, eighth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade, seventh place, Cloudcroft Middle School, in sixth place, Wilson Middle School, fifth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy, fourth place is Heights Middle School, third place, Cottonwood Classical Prep, second place, Albuquerque Academy, and in first place, Food Science B Division, Houston Middle School. Protein Modeling, Division B. In 10th place, Centennial High School, Team 2. 9th place, Lovington High School. 8th place, V. Sue Cleveland High School. 7th place, Las Cruces High School. In 6th place, Socorro High School. 5th place, Centennial High School, Team 1. 4th place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. In 3rd place, Cloudcroft High School. Second place, La Cueva High School. And in first place, Protein Modeling, Albuquerque Academy. Mission Possible. 
Now, being a virtual event, um, this this was a little bit hard because several of the Science Olympiad events are, are build events. And so our philosophy was basically we wanted to provide as many opportunities for the students as possible. And we couldn't keep everything equal across all fields, but um, we had a lot of these build events as trial events, which, which means the students can definitely place in them, but the, this, their scores don't necessarily go to the, the entire team score. Mission Possible was, an, was one of the trial events. All the build events were trial events. So there's a little bit less participation in, the, in these because they were trial events and they were harder to conduct um, virtually or remotely. So in this case, our first place, or not our first place, but the, the fourth place is Lovington Sixth Grade Ac Academy with Mission Possible. Third place, Albuquerque Academy. Second place, Mission Possible B, Saraceno Middle School. And in first place, Hermosa Middle School. Detector Building, C Division. In 10th place, Centennial High School, Team 2. In ninth place, Cloudcroft High School. Eighth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. Seventh place, Lovington High School. Sixth place, Centennial High School, Team 1. Fifth place, Silver High School. Fourth place, Albuquerque Academy. Third place, Las Cruces High School. Second place, Socorro High School. And in first place, La Cueva High School. Mousetrap Vehicles was another one of um, our trial events. And in this case, fourth place, this is Mousetrap Division B, um, Taylor Middle School in fourth place. Third place, Kirtland Middle School. In second place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. And in first place, Hermosa Middle School. Gravity Vehicle C is another one of our trial events because it is a build event. And our second place for Gravity Vehicle C is VSU Cleveland High School. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Code Busters. In 10th place, Wilson Middle School. This is Code Busters B. In ninth place, Kirtland Middle School. In eighth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade. In seventh place, La Plata Middle School. In sixth place, Heights Middle School. Fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Hermosa Middle School. Third place, Saraceno Middle School. Second place, Houston Middle School. And in first place, Taylor Middle School. Code Busters C. 10th place, VSU Cleveland High School. Ninth place, Silver High School. Eighth place, Centennial High School Team 2. Seventh place, Lovington High School. Sixth place, Socorro High School, fifth place, Centennial High School Team One, fourth place, Cloudcroft High School, third place, Las Cruces High School, second place, Albuquerque Academy, and first place, Codebuster C Division, La Cueva High School. Now, cybersecurity, this is another one that I wanted to, to have a special shout out. We, this is a cybersecurity C is a, is a trial event and it was actually put together um, for, as a trial event. It's a brand new event here. I wanted to have a chance to advertise that New Mexico Tech has a cybersecurity center and they have a great little video on their, on their website. Um, and I will share that also in the show notes. Um, and let me get to eighth place, Centennial High School, team two. Seventh place, Silver High School. Sixth place, Centennial High School, team one. 
fifth place, Cloudcroft High School, fourth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep School, third place, Socorro High School, second place, Las Cruces High School, and first place, La Cueva High School. Awesome. What you just saw there was the beginning of what we hope to have as a big drones program. And this is a drones cage that right now is living in the library of the New Mexico Tech camp on the New Mexico Tech campus. So that's um, our mechanical engineering department putting that together. And that seemed appropriate for our helicopters competition, another trial event. And helicopters B division, First place goes to Hermosa Middle School. Our helicopters C division. Second place, Piedra Vista High School. First place, Albuquerque Academy. Good job. Good job for taking the extra time with some of those, um, those build events, which are definitely harder to do remote. Uh, New Mexico Tech has an eSports club, as you saw kind of in the introduction, vi um, introduction video that I showed you at the very beginning, and that seems perfect for introducing the Game On winners. So Game On Division B, Heights Middle School in 10th place, 9th place, Saraceno Middle School, 8th place, Kirtland Middle School, 7th place, Lovington 6th Grade Academy, 6th place, Houston Middle School, Fifth place, Taylor Middle School. Fourth place, La Plata Middle School. Third place, Wilson Middle School. Second place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. And in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Experimental Design. In 10th place, Hermosa Middle School. In ninth place, Cloudcroft Middle School. Eighth place, La Plata Middle School, seventh place, Houston Middle School, sixth place, Saraceno Middle School, fifth place, Taylor Middle School, fourth place, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy, third place, Cottonwood Classical Prep, for a uh, second place, Albuquerque Academy, and in first place, Wilson Middle School. Experimental Design C. In 10th place, we have Oñate High School. Ninth place, Silver High School. Eighth place, Cloudcroft High School. Seventh place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. Sixth place, Visu Cleveland High School. Fifth place, Albuquerque Academy. Fourth place, Las Cruces High School. Third place, Centennial High School, Team One. In second place, Socorro High School. And in first place, Experimental Design C, La Cueva High School. Now, can you guess what comes next? Right at Cat It, B Division. In, tenth, oh, in ninth place, La Plata Middle School. In eighth place, Wilson Middle School. Seventh place, Hermosa Middle School, sixth place, Saraceno Middle School, fifth place, Taylor Middle School, fourth place, Cloudcroft Middle School, sixth grade, third place, Lovington, sixth grade Academy, six, uh, second place, Cottonwood Classical Prep, and in first place, Albuquerque Academy. Right at Cadet C, in 10th place, Cloudcroft High School, in ninth place, Oñate High School, Eighth place, Centennial High School, Team Two. Seventh place, San Juan College High School. Sixth place, Centennial High School, Team One. Fifth place, Cottonwood Classical Prep. Fourth place, Albuquerque Academy. Third place, Silver High School. 
second place, Socorro High School, and in first place, B. Sue Cleveland High School. That covers it for our events. Good job, participants, and way to stick it out there. We do have a few more um, extra awards that I want to mention um, before, before we get to the final team rankings. Um, something that, that we do every year is we give a spirit award. And of course, when we have in-person events, this is much easier. So the spirit award is usually given to a team that the event supervisors nominate based on you know, how, they're, they're, how they conduct themselves during the events. And because we didn't get to work with you guys on campus, like we usually do, this was harder, but the event supervisors still were able to interact with you through the chat feature at on Olympiad. And so there were some nominations and um, based on, you know, based on those interactions. And so this year we are happy to award the Spirit Award for the B Division to Kirtland Middle School. Congratulations. For the C Division, we'd like to give the Spirit Award to Onyate High School. And congratulations to, to both of your teams. We also have some amazing coaches out there. All of you, every one of you have really spent some time with your teams, helped them um, come together and, and bring together the events in spite of the crazy situation that we're having. It was really challenging. I know, especially trying to get your team set up and prepared for, for the, these virtual competitions. And so first I wanna say I'm grateful to every one of you we did have a, an opportunity for students to nominate their coaches. Um, and I'm happy to announce that for Division B, Margaret Bradney from Classical, Cottonwood Classical Prep um, is, is this year's outstanding coach. Uh, several students uh, nominated her and just expressed a lot of, a lot of love for, for her guidance. For Division C, our outstanding coach goes to Tammy Laura from La Cueva High School. Um, thank you very much. There was there was a lot of there was a lot of um, a lot of support for for a lot, many many um, nominations. So congratulations to both of you for your hard work and thank thank you for your students. Now we're almost, almost done. We are at the final stretch, just the final state rankings. And just to kind of give you an idea of how this goes, I know I'm like dragging this on now. Um, we award the trophies to the top five places. Um, the trophies are the Science Olympiad competitions. This is also Science Olympiad is also a New Mexico Activities Associate Association event. So we actually have two sets of awards. We have first through fifth for the top five teams, which are Science Olympiad, independent of the New Mexico Activities Associations, but we also award New Mexico Activity Association to the top three this year. So for the B Division top schools, our fifth place winner is Wilson Middle School. Congratulations. Our fourth place team, Lovington Sixth Grade Academy. Our third place team is Houston Middle School. Our second place overall B is Cottonwood Classical Prep. And our first place overall is Albuquerque Academy. Congratulations. This is a point in Macy Center where everybody would be like screaming. It's a little bit strange not to have applause throughout this. So finally, um, so as I, as I mentioned, the first through third are getting the, are also getting awarded the New Mexico Activities Association places, place trophies. So overall, C division, Fifth grade in state for C division goes to Las Cruces High School. In fourth place, Centennial High School team one. Our third place team is Socorro High School. In second place, 
we have Albuquerque Academy and our first place winner for the New Mexico State Science Olympiad competition division C goes to La Cueva High School. I just want to say thank you to all of your all of you for your support for your patience through all of this and for your dedication good job and i hope to see you next time next year in person um thank you and congratulations and that's it goodbye <laughs>